This right here is a nifty little web development project that I made using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So it's vanilla web development, and currently I am running it on my local machine. So here we can see it's running on my local machine at port 5. 1501. What we're going to be doing in this video is deploying it to the internet so that it is live and we get a URL that we can share with our family and friends, send it all over the place or pop it in our portfolio for everyone to appreciate. Deploying websites to the internet can be initially confusing, however it's a very simple process and that's exactly what's going to be demonstrated in the video. So if we take a look at the code, here we can see we have an index.html file in here we have our HTML, and then in a separate file we have our JavaScript. The first thing we're going to do is isolate this folder in whatever folder directory system you use. So here we have to-dos, this is the name of the project. And now what we're going to do is deploy our website on a site called Netlify. This will be linked in the description down below. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit log in. You will need to create a Netlify account. It's convenient if you log in with GitHub, because then you can deploy your projects directly from GitHub. So that's what I'm going to do. However, you can also just log in with email. That's absolutely fine. Once you're logged in, you'll see a page that looks a little bit like this. Here we have some of my previously deployed projects. For this instance, we're just going to deploy this folder directly, no GitHub int integration at all. And from this team overview tab, we have the add new site button. We're going to click on it and the bottom option says deploy manually. We'll hit deploy manually and now we just have to drag and drop your site output folder here or browse to upload. This is where we have our folder. So you don't want to be in the directory. From outside the directory, we're literally just going to drag and drop that onto this right here that's going to upload our project. And now we can see that it is successfully deployed and we can open the production deploy. So if we go ahead and open it, we see that we have a URL right there. That is our live project and we can share that link with our family and friends. We can see if we come to the, the end, it's deployed through Netlify, which is super handy. And we can find the URL for the project by coming into the site overview tab. Here we have it right here. So this is the link we would share and copy with anyone else. If I paste that in here, fastidious raindrop, we can see that once again opens up my to-do list. If we add a to-do, we can see that all the JavaScript is running. So it's successfully uploaded and deployed our whole project, which is absolutely amazing. So you could put this link in your portfolio. You could share it with your family, friends. And if you own your own custom domains, you'll want to come into the domain management and just add a domain and follow the instructions there to get your personal URL. The other thing we can do at the very end is just edit the site name if you don't already have a URL, and we could just call it special to do's, save that, and now our link is actually special to do's.netlify.app. That just saves us having to have the random fastidious raindrop URL, and we can just uh, name it what we would actually name it. So now this is the link that you can share with everyone, totally optional to do this. You could just use the link that we had before. And just like that, you have successfully deployed a project to the internet. You have a website live up and running and everyone on the internet can access your awesome to-do list. Cool, so that's literally it. That is how you deploy a vanilla web development project to the internet, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This would also work for any front-end framework such as React, Next.js, SvelteKit, or any of the others. It's literally just that simple. If you've enjoyed the video, smash the like and subscribe buttons. Appreciate the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Learning to code? If so, be sure to check out the Small James Web Development Roadmap. Link is in the description down below, or dive straight in with these videos.